Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Jay Spears 15 I uh, hope you all having a great weekend and a good Saturday so far. Today I'm doing a Try Not to Laugh Challenge, Family Guy, roasting every place on Earth. I am definitely looking forward to this challenge. I haven't failed one yet. Hopefully this one does not break me. Um, I was told about this clip uh, by some friends of mine. They said definitely check it out. Uh, so hopefully I can pass this challenge. And let's get started and roll right into it. Feast of San Gennaro. Every child here has seen a relative murdered in a barber chair. Mom, I can handle space camp. I'm not stupid. Well, regardless, on the way back, we're stopping at that Down Syndrome camp we passed. Peter, that was the University of Florida. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Ugh, God knows what I'm gonna find in steerage. Bunch of drunk, fat, pie-faced Irish fools. Excuse me, have any of you seen a blonde teenage boy? Who's asking? Yeah, who the hell are you? And I'm the baby! Okay, Stewie, this is favorite Belarusian children book called Good Night Moon of Chernobyl. Wow. Good Night Radiation House. Good night, melted phone. Good night, glowing milk. Good night, bleeding grandpa's eyes. Good night, two-headed cat. Next book, everybody poops. Blood. Yeah, the bastard's making a break for it, just like South America. Hmm, a lot of black guys over there. Hey, man, where you going? I'll be back. I'm coming back. I'll be right back. Hi. Do you like South Dakota but don't want to see Mount Rushmore? Come to North Dakota. It's just a very long drive from wherever you live. Best of all, most of the good license plates aren't taken yet. Imagine coming here and having cool dude or yay Jews or boo Jews, depending on where you stand on Jews. North Dakota. We're not even the best Dakota. See, the bowler hurls the ball towards the batsman who drives to play away a fine leg. He endeavors to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicketkeeper hasn't whipped his bails off, of course. Can anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Yes, well, if they want to make me into a monster like those people, we'll give them a monster. Like when Godzilla attacked Haiti. Oh, my God. People of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. I say, we're on quite a run. We blew up the Great Wall of China, bombed the Eiffel Tower, and look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan, up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. I did not take long, as he says. Seen that clip they before. did not need much. We now return to Ethiopian hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. All right, we'll come to dinner. But I want you to know I'm very skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. Probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Ah, <sighs> India. The most spiritual country in the world. God is not here. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. 
Instead, it's just traffic <coughs> and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. Oh. <laughs> of a happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims. Um, everybody who's not a white man. Just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. People can always sense a fraud. Gentlemen, it has come to my attention that there is a Chinese among us. Rest assured, he will be found. Security is launching a full-scale investigation into the genealogy records of every single one of our employees. This man will be found, and there will be dire consequences. Too bad about that Chinese guy, huh? At least some dirtbag from Boston yells at your junk to scare it into working again. You hear me in there, dum-dum? Let's look alive. Listen, I could be nice about this or I could get my brother. And he did some serious time for throwing a turkey off a bridge into a car. All right, well, I gotta go. There's a ripped screen door that needs slamming. How could a town with so many great colleges produce nothing but dopes? <laughs> Not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Running, throwing, lifting big things. Teslik. That's all right with me, man. Each shoe sold separate. Good evening. Tonight's top story, Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. They migrate north every autumn to see the foliage. And I think I speak for all of us when I say that New York and everyone from there can fornicate themselves with an iron stick. Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Ah! <laughs> Fast well, how do you mean? High school's like Lord of the Flies. It's a social nightmare. And I hear Canadian high schools are even worse. Well, well, look who matriculated to grade nine. Someone wants to get into university. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry. Well, you're going to be sorry when we put you in the hospital for free, eh? We now return to Captain Central America. It worked. Gracias. What are my powers? Oh, yeah, it's weird. You're, like, really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. Leave this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. That's it. You two are kicked out of paradise. Unless you want to buy a nice pot. Can I put my keys in it? No. Oh. Fine, we'll leave. But where will we live? The opposite of Eden. Well, Florida, time to fit in. Now let's go have sex with gum in our mouths. They're Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? Nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! We can't do that. Don't you know a lot of discarded electronics end up in the ocean and kill sea turtles? Well, then, let's cut out the middleman. I'm sorry, there's a new phone. That was cool. I got to go to Fiji for that. They got a ton of turtles there. You can kill them. Nobody cares. Man, Texas is great. Back where I'm from, a retarded guy could never have this much fun. Texas? What'd you just say? What? Technically, I'm retarded. <laughs> fellas, fellas, can't we talk this over? Talkings for terrorists and blacks. In Texas, we execute the retarded. Oh, my God. So this is how it ends? Half of Jensen there can tell you it gets pretty sticky. But I never lost me good spirits, I haven't. So let's get up there, be safe, and get back to the big fat pigs of wives we have waiting at home. Pardon me, sir, I'd like to join. What are your qualifications? I have a British accent, I'm possibly homosexual, I never brush my teeth, and my wife is ghastly. Bombs away!
In fact, I got you a bunch of new top-notch American-made stuff. What else did you buy? Oh, a couple things. That light fixture. New heat regulator on your stove. Your man bra. Your garbage disposal. Your dishwasher. And your new cat. This can't be Santa's workshop. This looks like Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, boy. Get ready for the letters. Dear family guy bastards, who the hell do you think you are? I'll have you know that Bridgeport is among the world leaders in abandoned buildings, shattered glass, boarded up windows, wild dogs, and gas stations without pumps. So eat my p Jew writers. Connie must really mean business, like an Armenian kid in a candy store. Hey, little boy, can I help you? Yes, I wish to buy business and turn into car wash. Welcome to Ireland. We'll be landing in five minutes. This is quite a country, Brian. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. I found out that your real father was a drunken Irishman. I went to Mexico to terminate my pregnancy. But God had other plans, and you were born right there. Guess that's just another little intermission there. So, it looks pretty funny. Good old Stewie. <laughs> the ones that almost got me was the New York one, because me being from New York originally, and the Boston one. And, those, and of course, I lived in Texas for two years before I moved out to Montana. <laughs> Those ones I think got me the most. That almost got me, but deep down I was dying laughing inside because that stereotype was just funny there. The, the stereotypes, like, even though it's really messed up, I thought it was funny, but the New Yorker one almost got me. And I did see that one clip with uh, Stewie and that one little girl. I forgot her name. But she's like the ultimate like evil villain that Stewie cannot compare with. I saw that episode and I remember that clip there, but that one was funny too. So I remember that one. But the rest of them I forgot, either forgot or haven't seen in a long time. But the New Yorker one definitely almost got me. Like I had tried to contain it as much as I could, but <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not complaining. This. This was. <laughs> This was a good one. I appreciate my friends mentioning it to it. I'm really, really happy about that one. But I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I beat it. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Beast right here. <laughs> if you did enjoy uh, my Try Not to Laugh Challenge and timestamp where you lost if you did lose, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. And again, timestamp where you lost in the comments. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. We'll see you later.